well this week. So this week I decided to figure out a card that uses a die, but we're not going to use a die. A birdhouse pop-up card. And it pops up like so. Um, a place where we can write the message on the back. And there we have it. So let's go ahead and get started on this card. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you the measurements for the pieces we're going to be needing. So this piece measures four and a quarter by four and a half. So if we're doing this by hand, we're gonna go up and find two inches and make a mark up here. And then we're going to go down and we're gonna find three inches and make a mark here. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna go down and find three inches and mark it right there. Then all we're gonna do is draw from this point to this point and then this point to this point. Now for this line that we have right here, okay, so to get this line here, we're still gonna start at two inches, so we'll find two, but this point begins at seven eighth of an inch. So we're gonna go down and find seven eighth of an inch and then come in two inches and we're gonna draw a line or a dot and then we're gonna go down and find four and one eighth of an inch down here and draw a dot and then come over here and find four and one eighth of an inch and draw a dot and then we can just take our lines and connect our two dots on each side and then we'll have this pattern um, I am doing this in like a, a brown color here and I'm going to cut out a total of three of these. And let me give the measurements for this um, in design space. Square is four and a half by four and a quarter. This first line here is 3.715 in height you're going to turn it 35 degrees and you're going to place it zero and zero your x and y at zero this line same size 3.715 you're going to rotate it to 325 degrees and you're going to position at two and one eighth of an inch and your Y at zero. Then this line is three and three fourths of an inch. You rotate it to 35 degrees. Your X is at zero and your Y is at one. And then this final line, uh, three and three fourths of an inch. We're gonna rotate it to 146 degrees. The X is going to be at 2.152 and your Y is going to be at 0.981. You'll grab it all and then attach it in design space and then you'll have that done. So let's move on to our next pieces. Three and three fourths of an inch by eight and a half. And then we're gonna go up here and we're gonna measure out one and seven eighth of an inch and put a little dot. And then we're going to go down and find two and five eighths of an inch and put a dot and come over here and find two and five eighths, put a dot. And then we're just going to connect our dots with our lines using a ruler or a scoreboard, whatever you have. Okay, and let me go ahead and give the measurements for this in design space. Of course, it's still the same width and height. So three and three-fourths of an inch by eight and a half. And then this 
of first line that we have here, 3.331 in height. We're gonna rotate it to 35 degrees and then it will X and the Y will be at zero. And then this line, same height, and we're gonna rotate it to 325 degrees. And then we're going to place um, the X at 1.875, which is one and seven eighth of an inch. And then your Y at zero. And for this sheet, I'm doing a total of four, but I'm doing um, two in a brown tone, wood looking color. And then I'm gonna do two pieces in designer paper. And I can go ahead and show you how we're gonna uh, cut these out. And the reason why I'm doing it this way instead of showing you all the pieces is I had to go back and make a uh, correction because for some reason um, my stuff that I recorded earlier recorded in slow motion and I couldn't get it figured out to upload it not being in slow motion. So we're just going to do it this way and go with it. There you have it. Our next piece of cardstock we'll need is three and a half by four and seven eighth of an inch. And then um, this piece right here, if you would like it to go on top of it, it measures three and one fourth of an inch by four and a half. Okay, our next piece that we're going to need that measures three and a quarter by three and three fourths, okay? And then we have three score lines on here. And let me go ahead and give you those. The first score line, we're gonna score at a half an inch. The second score line, we're gonna score at one and five eighths of an inch. And then our last score line is going to be at two and three fourths of an inch. And then you're gonna score on both of those. And that's it. So let's go ahead and start putting our pieces together. Okay, also I'm gonna do um, the card a little bit different today, but I did want to give you the measurements of the circles and you could place one circle on here all three of them um, I've also done one where I did these in the shapes of hearts but the size of the circle that I used um, was one and a half inch circle so in case you wanted to do that I wanted to make sure I gave you that information now we can move on to putting our card together. So first things first, if we have all of our pieces cut out, I'm going to add my decorative piece to the front and to the back. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, once we have this together, you would want to go ahead, and if you're going to do the three um, holes, go ahead and put your three holes in. We can go ahead and put our little eaves on our house. Now, what I think I'm going to do I think I'm going to distress my eaves just a little. Mm -hmm. 
this is weathered wood and guys I got these um, off of Amazon for like ten dollars and they're just little mini ones but I don't really use a lot of ink so I just thought to try it out and I've had these for quite some time and I just thought it would be a neat way to learn how um, to use some ink Okay, now that we got that done, we can move on to putting them on there. So, I like to glue one on the front of mine, of course, but then I also like to glue one on this side to give it dimension and on the back side of this one. And I'm just going to make sure I'm lining this up. And I think what I'm going to do is I've turned mine upside down. And I have it about where I want it, so I'm going to draw a little line on this so I can see where to place it once I have the glue on. have that and we can go ahead um, I think I'm gonna wait to put these on these two because I want to make sure I line it up so let's go ahead and get our little mechanism parts out that's our two squares with the score lines on them and let's go ahead and work those score lines So you should have something that looks like so. And let's go ahead and work our next one. We should have that. Now what we're going to do is connect this tab onto our birdhouse on this side. And we want to make sure that the, it looks like an M to me. So the M that's sticking out like this, we want to make sure it's going on the inside of our card. <clears throat> so we should be placing, excuse me, should be placing it down like so. So let's go ahead and get some glue on here. It should look like this and I'm gonna go ahead and put this side on too so again we want the mountain on the inside of our birdhouse okay so now we should have something that looks like so and see our mountains are on the inside of our birdhouse now we're going to take this and glue it on top. So it should now look like so. And we can go ahead and put our glue on this tab and add that side. And there you go. Then we have our cute little birdhouse.
and we can go ahead and glue these pieces on and the reason why I waited is because I wanted to make sure I lined these up exactly the same so let's go ahead and do that So now that we have our birdhouse together, we can go ahead and decorate our birdhouse. But I'm going to I'm going to glue this together and put it on um, the back where you can write a message to someone. So let's go ahead and get that done. Now that we have our little note thing on, we can just start decorating, guys. And there you have it guys this is what i decided to go with on mine i just love how this little wreath turned out and there's so many different ways we can you know complete this and make this our own and i just think it's just the neatest little thing and you know when you send it some to somebody they're um, able to display it just very simple and I just want to thank y'all for crafting with me and I'll see you next time guys bye